Hello, everyone. This is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I, the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, King Dia, Lauren Frey, Grim, Clover, Internet, Bloodsport, City of Steel, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. So I finally put away Splatoon 3 after a very lengthy uh, launch window period in which I spent all my free time playing it, uh, not really playing anything else. I finally decided it was time to take a break. After this Splatfest, I was just like, you know what? Like, I've done a lot of single player content, not everything, uh, but most of it. I've done a lot of multi player haven't even really touched much of settlement run which was a lot of fun what, what i played but i am ready to take a break and go back to other games uh, specifically live alive which i've been putting off for a very long time i i uh, put the game away and now i think it's time to to talk about it uh what do i think of splatoon 3 uh, needless to say i loved it i thought it was spectacular great single player campaign great balance uh Great balance of the multiplayer. Nice little minor changes that I think a lot of people don't really appreciate, like having multiple targets for a Rainbreaker instead of just going beelining straight for the enemy. You have to go for a couple of targets. Uh, love that. That is a that is a very nice, refreshing change. Uh, lots of cool new weapons, lots of cool new abilities, and uh, I do think the major thing I would like to say, uh, you know, when it talk when, when it comes to this game is, uh, yeah, it is. It is different than Splatoon 2. In spite of like what some people like Dark Side Phil may try to tell you, Splatoon 3 is, you know, a completely different game than the first two games. Right? Like it's um it's shocking to me how many people tried to write this off as like a a lazy half-ass sequel when that's really not the case at all. The game looks gorgeous. It has like minor, minor tweaks and adjustments that really make it feel like a whole new experience. And again, this is like uh, these are real impactful things like like you know when it, when it comes to like new mode designs and just like things like that like it, it does feel radically different i um i'm curious just how the narrative is going to continue further uh going forward because this is a game i put a ton of time into already right like um i think it's safe to say you can like continue these kinds of splatoon releases indefinitely and uh, continue to get people into them and playing them. I, I don't understand why there was such a, a big a vehement sort of like anti-Splatoon agenda going forward, because now that the game is out, it, it's very clear that it was like highly popular and that it is highly popular, highly successful and uh, very played a lot. You know, I put like maybe 20 hours into it already. Like I said, <laughs> I've been busy and I haven't been able to put a ton of time into it, but uh, I did put like a lot of time into it. Like more than I've put a total t a playthrough of uh, that I put like into Live Alive, which I've had since like uh, since it came out in July. I I put a ton of time into this game, and uh, honestly, it's something I think I will continue playing uh, for a long time after this. Uh, right now, I'm just taking a break, but this is um you know this is a great, wonderful online multiplayer game for Nintendo Switch.